people are doing this work and they're dedicating so many hours and um, so much of their energy and time to Horton's kids because they know that what we're doing makes a difference. Throughout this crisis, staff retention is going to be a really important priority for, the, for Horton's kids and for many organizations like ours. And the three things that I think about when I look to staff retention are number one, financial stability. That's what people are looking for. And the more that we can uh, secure renewed gifts from funders and ensure the progressing relationship with, the, with our federal and private funders, um, the more we'll, that will provide a sense of financial stability for people, and that's very important to retain staff. Number two, we're trying to find ways to increase connectivity among people, even though we're all trapped in our own homes uh, for 23 hours a day. Um, so that's, we've transitioned and really made it very easy for people through the technology that Holy's Kids is able to provide to see each other and connect face to face. And that's not just with one another as colleagues, that's also with the children that we serve and the families, creating other opportunities for people to feel connected to the other individuals who are a part of this work. And finally, the third thing we're doing is making sure that we're still driving impact. People are doing this work and they're dedicating so many hours and um, so much of their energy and time to Horton's kids because they know that what we're doing makes a difference. And as we pivot away from our in-person opportunities to more virtual uh, programming, we wanna make sure that we're designing programming that continues to drive impact and will continue to make people feel as though their time is being well used and that they're driving a real difference for children during a time of, of crisis, not only across the country, but acutely in the community we serve.